Hey guys, I've got a mini episode for you today. This is just a quick intro to Jenny Mullen. So Jenny Mullen is an actress, comedian, and wife to Jason Biggs, who you might recognize from American Pie. Um, she's also an author, and we're talking today about her latest book. It's called Dictator Lunches. She also has an Instagram account called Dictator Lunches. Highly recommend following that. It's absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> I say in the interview, she she writes in her bio, I'm that mom that your kids warned you about, right? So really, um, but truly, like what she's doing is showing easy and simple ways for you to make healthier lunches for your kids. And I know a bunch of you guys are parents. I'm a parent and it's like, man, it is so tempting to take the easy way out with kids, right? It is so tempting. And so she's sharing with you some of her easy, simple ideas. She partnered with egg life foods on their egg white wraps. I use these personally. I think they're amazing, you know, and that's just an idea throwing out there to you guys is like make fun and interesting little pinwheels with something that's protein doesn't have sugar. You know, it doesn't have all those crap ingredients. that's going to make your kids crash after lunch. So she's going into some of her ideas on that. Um, and just kind of the principles of how she lives with her when, in regards to her kids' lunches, right? I really appreciate her. I appreciate what she's doing. Cause this is like, I'm just being real from my point of view, the quote unquote, healthier upgrade to kids school lunches is not, it is not, <laughs> I have seen what they are serving in schools and I'm like, this is not an upgrade, you know? So I think it's important that we think about this, you know, taking matters into our own hands on like what our kids are perceiving as normal in terms of what they eat, you know, how can we get more nutrition in, in a way that they like and enjoy, and that becomes simple for us as parents too. So that's why I wanted to take this opportunity to share, uh, Jenny's message with you guys just for a quick little, like 10, 15 minute interview. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and we will link up her book and, um, the egg white wraps and her Instagram and all of that in the show notes. So check those out. Okay. Here is Jenny Mullen. Okay. So Jenny, I was looking through your dictator lunches, Instagram account. And I was like, she gets it. She gets it. And I love your, in your bio, you say you're like, I'm the mom that your kids warned you about. Yes, <laughs> yes, I really My am. friend Parker has all these healthy, yummy, fun lunches. Right. And I mean, even as a health coach, I've got four kids, I've got elementary school kids all the way up to high school. And it's, it's a struggle sometimes to come up with ideas. So first of all, I appreciate you. So uh, let's, let's yeah. start, you know, school is coming back in. My kids start school in a couple of days. What are some of, you know, I'm curious where your mind goes when you're like, okay, you know, so let's say somebody's like, okay, back to school's coming. Where does your mind go on essentials of how can I pack healthier lunches for my kids? Well, you know, for me, I love to like cut grain whenever I can with the kids, just because I feel like so much of a child's diet for whatever reason, especially in America seems to be like bread or pizza yep, or nuggets, all of this shit that I'm not a fan of. Yep. Um, so I, you know, with a lot of the recipes in the book and also uh, with this company, the egg white, the egg life that I'm working with right now, which is like an egg white wrap. It's like an alternative to flour. I'm loving coming up with things that just like, you know, provide my kid with some sort of protein for the day. Yep you know, keep them full. Um, but also, you know, isn't going to give them this like huge sugar crash that, right. You know, means a call from maybe the principal's office for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so with you. Cause I think when we think school lunches, everybody thinks sandwich, right. That's the no, first place. Stop with the sandwiches. I'm <laughs> the sandwiches. like, get rid of ditch the bread. Yeah. And, you know, that's why I don't know, things like this are just such a great uh, innovation and disruptor in the space because it's like, whoa, I can actually send a wrap that is really more of, you know, a protein packed. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, pinwheel. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Without all the garbage. I actually use the egg life wraps myself and love them. So let's hear some of your ideas. Right. So, and by the way, I looked at, I looked it up there. If anybody's curious, it's 35 calories. It's five grams of protein. There's no sugar in it. There's one gram of carbs and protein is going to stabilize their blood sugar. So they don't turn into a maniac right after lunch. Yeah, right. Psychopaths. Exactly. exactly. So what are some of your ideas? I'm so curious. What are you making with these wraps? Well, I love to do like a, a strawberry banana, uh, all for me, when I'm doing it, I use almond butter. If I'm sending it to school, I'll do sun butter and a little bit of chia seeds. That is just like, it tastes almost like a smoothie in a wrap. It's Yum. so delicious. It's not eggy. I mean, I think that that 
people also need to try these to understand that like it doesn't, it, you're not getting like a heavy egg taste with it. It's just an easy, fluffy, yummy little way to, I mean, you, t- you eat them. It's just like, it's yeah. fun to have like, a, a, you know, get all of those things that you would get in a smoothie, but you could actually put it in a lunchbox. So I love those. And I also love doing, I'll do, sometimes I'll do maybe like a PB and J, but I'll do a PB apple with mm. maybe some almond slices for myself. I'll do that. Maybe sometimes I'll use the cinnamon wrap. There's now like a cinnamon one that I don't know if you've tried it, but it's, I haven't. Just with it's awesome. Um, and then for like, you know, I'm a Jewish mom at heart. So I like to do like a locks and bagel situation where I'll mm. use like everything wrap, but locks, cream cheese, some avocado, cucumbers. Yum. I want a Jewish mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds amazing. I I yeah. <laughs> wow. I love it. Yeah. Cause you could co- totally go the protein savory route with tons of options, or yes. you could go, I love this idea of like actually apples, actually bananas, actually strawberries instead of just jelly. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want the real stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Have you done any uh, other like dessert like ones besides like the PB and J or the My kids are begging me to do a Nutella one? Uh, yeah. Um, yes. They really want a Nutella, like a hazelnut chocolatey spread. There are some healthier options of the Nutella hazelnut spread out there, like in the keto world without sugar. So maybe Yes, I maybe. have a recipe for that actually in my book. A healthy- oh, you have a recipe. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That would be so good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then I'm curious, like, do you have recommendations for parents on like storage? I noticed you use a lot of these kind of like bento box type things, you know, when you go to make your kids lunch, like what, where does your mind go? I mean, for me, I like to think of it like a paint by number situation where you have your main, you have your fruit, your veg, your snack, and then the bribe. Because I don't know about you, but I find that like, if there isn't anything exciting about my lunch, if I've taken lunch to work, then I'm more likely to just like end up giving in and like buying lunch out. But if I know that there's something in there that I really want to get my hands on, I will stay the course with the rest of the meal. And I think the kids are the same way. It's like, if there is a little treasure at the end of that map, they are more likely to sort of get involved with the other foods that are in the box. Yeah. I think that's a good lesson for life for all of us. Like food is also pleasure, right? And if you can make the healthy stuff taste good and some sort of little treat, you know, I'll have people say sometimes like, I gotta get, gotta get out of my dark chocolate habit. I'm like, why (laughs) go ahead and have some dark chocolate at the end of your meal. (laughs) It's so true. Awesome. Okay. My last question for you is like, in terms of you say veggies, right? Like, have you found a good way to make veggies more app, you know, more exciting for them that they'll actually eat it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like sometimes, you know, everybody's into this, um, Bjorn corn with like the nutritional yeast, because it kind of gives it that like cheesy Mm. flavor. I'll do that with, um, roasted garbanzo beans and then I'll do Mm. a nutritional yeast on top. And it has that same sort of cheesy, savory, snacky flavor. Um, I am all about just presenting vegetables. I think the more kids see veggies, the less they're, uh, you know, the less of, of an aversion that we'll have to them. Um, yeah. so, you know, we have all the usual suspects, the broccoli, the cauliflower, but I also will push the envelope with like, okay, now we're going to try hearts of palm. Now we're going to do artichokes. Now we're going to do um, you know, my kids, some people, some kids love cherry tomatoes. My kids are still like not on the tomato kick. Um, I don't know, maybe they, maybe they have something against nightshades, but yeah, uh, <laughs> they know, know. <laughs> mom, uh, no, but, um, but yeah, I, I really do try to expose them to every vegetable possible. Yeah. It's so random. You never realize it. Like, you know, I, I have so many friends tell me, oh, my kids hate vegetables, but it's like, well, they've had two varieties. You've given them like the kid friendly veggies where it's like my youngest, he likes asparagus who would have known, you know, unless I kind of like gave him some right. so it's about taking that risk and, and, and really um, exposing. I love this idea with the, you know, the nutritional yeast. I've got so much in my pantry. So I'm like, yes, thank you for saying that. That is such a great idea. Um, I have found with my kids, I'm like, if your kids aren't eating vegetables up your game, like make them taste good. And it will be good for you too. You know, if you learn how to make them taste good, everything I'm like, what else can I roast? Yeah. Do you, 
it is upon us. And I am so excited. It's my favorite. Me too. So oh. roasting, you know, for people who are like, I don't even know what you mean. What do you put on them when you roast them? Can you explain how you tend to do that? Yes. I tend to just like set my oven to like 450, 475. I douse olive oil all over whatever chopped up vegetables I have, do some sea salt and throw them in. Yep. That's, it's so easy. It's, it's so easy. And it's, it's amazing. Yep. I feel like I'm like talking to myself. I'm like, you don't have to like learn how to cook. Just like put them in there. I'm (laughs) I'm just somebody who, you know, I want to like raise people that I'm not just like investing in their mental health. I want to also raise kids that, you know, understand the importance of taking care of your body. Absolutely. And I have you found, I have found like, if my kids are involved with just chopping the cucumbers or chopping the, the, then they eat it more. They like go ham on it. Yeah, yeah. If they prep it, then they're definitely more prone to eating it. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for, thank you for making this simple. Thank you for, you know, continuously yeah. putting out ideas. Your Instagram is awesome. I highly recommend anybody follow your dictator lunches, Instagram. Thank and, of, you so much. and of course you've got your new book out dictator lunches. Where can people find that book? Uh, everywhere books are sold. Yay. Okay. Awesome. And I had, I just are amazing by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> it's from those egg life wraps. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love it. The protein. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Jenny, thank you so much for taking time and doing this little interview with us. Appreciate you. We'll link up everything in the show notes so people can find you and find your book. And thank hopefully you. you guys can be inspired and make some healthier lunches for your kids. Thank you.